giving up your dreams, changing your essence, accepting less than you deserve, we're about to reveal the nine things you should never do for a man. Did you know that even the most elegant women held firm to their convictions? Just imagine, those iconic women we admire for their elegance and sophistication never let themselves be diminished by anyone, especially not by a man. Let's talk about behaviors that often sabotage the relationship and even worse, destroy the respect he feels for you. Princess Diana, for example, always stayed true to herself, even under the royal spotlight. She is proof that maintaining your identity is crucial, even in the most challenging relationships. Have you noticed how, in series like Gossip Girl, Blair Waldorf never lowers herself? She knows her worth. And that's what we're going to discuss today. How to preserve your value and attract the respect and admiration you deserve. Don't let anyone make you lose your essence. Subscribe to the channel, activate the bell, and leave a like if you want to learn how to be elegant and turn your elegance into something profitable. Let's go together, with class and without vulgarity, to discover how to be an irresistible and respected woman. 1. Don't put your dreams on hold. Commitment is important, but not at the expense of your own dreams. Think of Amal Clooney, an internationally renowned lawyer who, even after marrying George Clooney, continued to pursue her passions and causes. She never stopped fighting for human rights and kept her career vibrant. In the movie La La Land, Mia, played by Emma Stone, and Sebastian, Ryan Gosling, have individual dreams that seem incompatible, but in the end, both find ways to follow their aspirations, even if it means not being together. Oprah Winfrey, before becoming one of the most influential women in the world, faced numerous adversities but never gave up on her dreams. She continued to fight for her goals, creating a media empire and inspiring millions with her perseverance. Sacrificing your dreams for someone else's can lead to resentment and frustration. The right partner will support and encourage your ambitions, creating a relationship where both thrive and achieve their personal goals. 2. Don't isolate yourself. Maintaining your own support networks is essential for your emotional health and independence. In Sex and the City, Carrie Bradshaw always prioritized her friendships with Miranda, Charlotte, and Samantha, even when she was in romantic relationships. This illustrates the importance of having a solid support base outside of your partner. Another example is Shonda Rhimes. As a successful producer and screenwriter, creator of beloved series like Grey's Anatomy and Scandal, Shonda has always maintained a strong network of friends and professional collaborators. She values these connections, which are crucial for her creative process and personal balance. Think also of Emma Watson, who, despite her intense career, has never stopped connecting with her friends and family. She has always maintained a balance between her personal and professional life, highlighting the importance of keeping your connections and not letting a romantic relationship consume your entire life. Isolating yourself in a relationship can lead to emotional dependency and loss of identity. Your friends and family offer perspectives and support that are fundamental for a healthy relationship. True elegance lies in maintaining a balanced life, where your personal and social connections are valued and preserved, ensuring you never lose your essence. 3. Don't hide your intellect. Hiding your intellect to avoid intimidating your partner is a mistake many women make. Think of Jodie Foster, a brilliant actress who also graduated from Yale. She never hid her intelligence, and it only made her more admired and respected. In The Big Bang Theory, Amy Farrah Fowler never hid her brilliance, even when she was in love with Sheldon. On the contrary, her intellect was a fundamental part of their relationship. Remember when Michelle Obama, with her Harvard Law education, occupied the White House? She never hid her intelligence, and it made her an inspiring figure and an icon of elegance. Showcasing your intellect strengthens your relationship and inspires respect and admiration, highlighting the true power of feminine elegance. 4. Stop avoiding conflicts. Avoiding conflicts might seem like a temporary solution, but it can lead to accumulated resentment. Remember how in the series The Crown, Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip faced disagreements and tensions? Despite their differences, mutual respect and open communication were essential to maintaining their relationship. Think also of Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera. Their relationship was marked by intense conflicts, but Frida never stopped expressing her pain and opinions through her art and words. She knew that silencing her emotions would only bring more internal suffering. Another example is Ruth Bader Ginsburg, the iconic U.S. Supreme Court justice. In her marriage to Marty Ginsburg, she found a partner who respected her opinions and with whom she could have healthy discussions. Marty always encouraged Ruth to express her ideas and fight for what she believed in, even when they disagreed. A healthy relationship allows both partners to express their opinions respectfully. If your partner reacts abusively during conflicts, it's a clear sign that something is wrong. Do not tolerate 
abusive behavior. Facing conflicts in a healthy manner is a proof of strength and emotional maturity, essential for elegance and respect in any relationship. Five, don't rely completely on him financially. Maintaining financial independence is crucial for security and balance in a relationship. Think of Sofia Amoruso, founder of Nasty Gal and author of the bestseller, Chuck Girl Boss. She built her own company from scratch, becoming an icon of female independence and entrepreneurship. Another example is Sarah Blakely, founder of Spanx, who turned a simple idea into a billion-dollar business. Her journey clearly demonstrates how financial independence can provide security and freedom. Consider J.K. Rowling as well. Before becoming famous with Harry Potter, she faced financial difficulties but never stopped fighting for her independence. Today, she is one of the most influential and successful women in the world, showing that determination and financial independence can change lives. Relying completely on your partner financially can create a dangerous power imbalance. Many men, subtly or otherwise, might use finances to control and manipulate. Having your own money and sources of income ensures that you always have control over your life and decisions. True elegance lies in being self-sufficient and not allowing anyone to use financial dependence as a weapon of control. Six, don't become the female version of him. Many women fall into the trap of trying to mold themselves to their partner's image, abandoning their own passions and interests. Think of Audrey Hepburn, who, despite marrying twice, never lost her love for acting and humanitarian activism. She remained true to herself, regardless of her partner's interests. In Sex and the City, Carrie Bradshaw never stopped writing her column and using her creativity, even while dating Aiden, who had a completely different lifestyle. True elegance lies in maintaining your own passions and identity without transforming into a copy of your partner. The diversity of interests enriches a relationship and allows each person to shine in their own light. Seven, don't become a mother 2.0. Taking on the role of a mother for your partner can be exhausting and create an unbalanced dynamic. Angelina Jolie, for example, has always maintained her individuality and never let herself be consumed by over-caring for her partners. She has stood out for her humanitarian work and film career, balancing personal and professional life with elegance. Another example is found in Scandal, where Olivia Pope, despite her complicated romantic relationships, never stopped being the strong and independent woman who managed crises and controlled her own life. Taking on the role of a mother in a relationship can lead to burnout and a lack of recognition. True elegance lies in finding a balance where both partners contribute equally and feel valued. Eight, don't excuse his behavior. Justifying a partner's wrong actions can undermine your self-esteem and identity. Think of Claire Underwood from House of Cards. Despite her moral complexities, Claire never allowed Frank Underwood's questionable behavior to be excused or ignored. She always maintained her own strength and dignity, showing that you should never justify wrongful actions out of love. A real-life example is Tina Turner's story. For years, she suffered abuse from her husband, Ike Turner, and tried to excuse his behavior. It was only when she decided to value herself more than the relationship that she was able to break free and build a successful solo career, becoming an icon of resilience and self-sufficiency. Consider Serena Williams, who has always maintained her integrity and never allowed negative attitudes around her to affect her self-esteem and performance. She is known for her strength and ability to stand up for herself, both on and off the court. Valuing someone else's love more than your own self-love is a dangerous path. It is crucial to recognize that no one should be excused for hurting you. True elegance lies in maintaining your value and dignity, never allowing someone else's inappropriate behavior to be justified. Nine, avoid uncomfortable intimacy. Intimacy should be a space of comfort and mutual respect. It's disheartening to see how some men make women feel guilty, manipulating them into uncomfortable sexual activities. An example of resistance to this is found in the character Offred from The Handmaid's Tale. She constantly faces situations of forced intimacy but never loses her sense of identity and fights for her own well-being. Although I didn't particularly enjoy this series, her strength is notable. Another interesting example is the life of Simone de Beauvoir. As a philosopher and writer, Beauvoir always challenged gender stereotypes and expectations about intimacy. Her work, The Second Sex, is a manifesto against the objectification and submission of women, advocating for autonomy and respect. Think also of Alicia Keys, who has always preached the importance of being true to oneself. In interviews, she has talked about the necessity of being in relationships where her feelings and boundaries are respected, promoting the idea that no one should feel pressured to do something they don't want to do. Many 
men have grown up with stereotypes fueled by pornography and media, believing that women should satisfy all their desires. However, true elegance lies in setting clear boundaries and demanding respect. There is no shame in saying no and seeking relationships where intimacy is an act of love and respect, not obligation or manipulation. Here's an extra tip. Never send nude selfies. With today's technology, these photos can fall into the wrong hands and damage your image. If he wants to see you without clothes, tell him you prefer when he does it in person. Now think about this. For your relationships to change, you need to change. Don't sacrifice your essence or set aside your dreams. Maintaining financial independence, personal connections, and your own interests is crucial for a fulfilling and elegant life. Each of the tips I share today has the power to transform your life and relationships profoundly. And since we're talking about change, did you know that the details men notice in a woman can make all the difference? In the video, Seven Details Men Notice in Women, we discuss exactly that. Don't miss the chance to discover what these details are and how to use them to your advantage. Advantage. Subscribe to the channel and leave a like if you want to be more successful and learn to be elegant because elegance is profitable. Review what we learned today. Maintain your individuality, respect your limits, never isolate yourself, and don't justify unacceptable behavior. We want to know, which of these tips do you think is the most important? Leave your comment below. If you want to be an elegant and sophisticated traveler, don't miss out on my ebook, Be Elegant When You Travel, Global Etiquette for the Sophisticated Traveler. The link is in the first pinned comment. Until next time, and remember, elegance lies in being true to yourself.